Hey everybody. Okay, let's get ready and jump right into our Super Kids practice. Remember this week we started talking about the sounds of IR and UR and ER that says ER. And remember, if I were to separate this side, I would notice that all of these have the OR that says OR. And all of these have the IR that says ER. So pause the video for a second and practice reading each word with your grown-ups at home. Okay, grab yourself a paper and pencil and let's practice some spelling for today. Bird. A bird made a nest on my porch. Bird. Pause your video to spell bird. Did you know that was I-R? Okay, let's try this one. Third. Sal visited the fire station for the third time. Third. Third rhymes with bird. That's a good clue. Third. Pause your video. I-R-D again like bird. Try this one. First. What is the first step in this project? First. First. Pause your video. Did you hear all those sounds? Listen, first, first, we have to hear all the sounds. Next one. Stir, mom let hot rod stir the cake mix. Stir. Hmm, stir, pause your video. Look at first and stir. It's like we just took the letters from first and rearranged them. Let's try a sentence. I know that girl. I know that girl. Pretty easy, only four words, but a couple of things we need to remember. Pause your video. All right, so no is one of our memory words this week, and you have to know that it has a silent K at the beginning, and O-W says O like in yellow. You have to remember that. And girl is one of your I-R words. A lot of people make the mistake and spell, they hear gr and they write G-R. No, G-R is gr, like green and grow. This is g-r, and that's I-R, okay? Did you remember your period? And capital I, always, that word always has capital I. Okay. Next part we're going to look at is our handwriting practice for today. Read with me. The girl spoke to Sal in Spanish. She said, there is a fire on First Street. Pause your video. And when you're practicing this writing, remember, when she said there is a fire on First Street, we show that with quotation marks. It means that she's talking. And since we started the sentence, she said we need a comma here before her talking marks. So practice making those neatly and carefully. Okay, next part we wanna look at is we have some practice pages. They both look just like this. There are two of them. And you cut all of this apart on page 60 and also page 61. You cut them all apart and you make them into a game. So if you like, you can color the pictures um, and then you cut them all apart and you match the correct word with the correct picture. See them? So you cut them all up, you mix them up, you mix them up with the ones from this page too. Remember, we have all these as well. Mix them all up and then match them. Then, when you're pretty sure you know what they all say, turn them over and use them for a memory match game. If you match the correct word with the correct picture, then you have a match and you get to keep it, okay? That's how you use those. And then today, your backpack page looks like this. Your job today is to just 
These are your memory words and you need to figure out what are the letters that are missing from each one and then spell the whole word again. Okay? Perfect. Also, I did give everybody a link last week on the class story page on the dojo. If you have access to a printer, this monster game is really fun practice. Okay? Next, you're going to um, reread the story called Fire one more time. Okay? Reread this story with anyone at home. It could be a brother, a sister, my mom, aunt, uncle, whoever's there. Okay? And then we also have this page, which I did make this available in the parent portal, but if we just take a look at these, these are some words with ER at the end, and the ER means it's a person who does that. So, a firefighter is a person who fights fires. A reporter is a person who reports. A teacher is a person who teaches. The baker is the person who bakes. And the gardener is the person who gardens, right? So that is something we want to practice. And now take a look at these because these are a little bit different. This one says actor. Guess who that is? A person who acts. But look, it's not ER, is it? It's OR. This is a sailor, a person who sails, OR. Inventor has an OR, that's a person who invents. Doctor, that's not a person who docks, is it? But that is the person we would see if we weren't feeling well and we needed to see the doctor. And this one says janitor, right? And that's a very important helper at our school who keeps our school clean and safe for us. So pause your video, rewind those if you like, print them out if you want to, but you really don't have to. Just practice those words and understand that that ending means it's a person who does that job, okay? And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a link to today's writing lesson. And for that, she's going to tell you that you need these resource pages. I did make them available in your parent portal as well. If you don't have a printer, please don't worry. Look at this. The first page is just a book cover. It's just a blank piece of paper that says buy and your name goes at the bottom. And the next one is just pages of a book. Okay, so it has room for drawing illustrations at the top and it has some writing space at the bottom half. Okay, and she is going to be walking us through the lesson. Um, this page right here, page 19, the back cover of the book, we won't be able to use that one since we're not together with our classmates. Uh, but she might go over with you um, how you can do it. Another thing you could do, you could pass your book around at home and people could write a little review. That's what this is for. People are writing what they think of your book. Oh, read this book. It was great because the character was so silly. Something like that. Okay, so if you have access to a printer and you want to print those pages, that's fine. If you don't, please don't worry about it. It's fine with me if you use any writing paper that you have. And you're... Uh, your journal, your writing journal, has room for writing and drawing pictures as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you this link this time that starts from here, and you will be ready to, as long as you have with you, the following items. She's going to tell you that you will need the resource pages that I just showed you and the story that you wrote yesterday. Yesterday you added an ending to your story, remember? So you need that and the pages I showed you or the page that you're going to write your story on. Okay? All right, everybody. Have a great time with this. I can't wait to see the finished stories and I know you're going to love reading today. So enjoy and I will see you tomorrow.